Saurav Mishra notes and today in this video we are going to learn how to cascading drop down list with the use of AngularJS and Web API. So as you can see in front of me right now one demo is there you can see we have a student web form and in this form you can see we have a state and city so once so once user is going to select any state from the drop down list he can get the list of related cities so today in this video we are going to learn how can do all these things so in in front of me right now you can see i have a simple mvc web application right now and here i am going to use one db first entity model object you can see here and this is my database and in this database you can see i have two tables one is state master so you can see we have state master we have state id and in the city master we have city id city name and state id so this state id is related to our main primary key state id and basis of that we will fetch all the data first in our first drop down list with the use of a state name and after that once user select any state from the drop down list the basis of that we will populate basis of a state id the city data so let's take a look so what I have done here, here we have one school entity edmx file which I have created with the use of entity framework and uh, here you can see this is our web api controller so in the web api controller you can see this object which I have created with the use of entity framework and here we have one method which is called get states and in the get state method you can see here we have a school entity which is the main object and we are going to call our state master table this is our state master table and here I am getting all the list of states and I am returning this states here so this is my first service for populating drop down list so you can see here what is the result is coming if I am going to run this particular get states So you can see here I am getting the list of states which are in my database right now. You can see here we have 5 states and I am getting the list of 5 states right now and this is of a state id and a state name. So what is my next mission? Now I am going to populate these things with the use of AngularJS. So first I am going to write the code of AngularJS in script.js. So you can see here we have a simple module and in this angular module we have one controller my controller and in this my controller i am passing two services injecting two services dollar scope and dollar http and here i am going to call my url you can see here the same url i am going to use here and once my request is going to my web api i am getting a response in states so in my last video if you saw my full video of web api and angularjs for drop down binding so you can see here it's a very detailed video and you can get the link of that video in the description so please uh, watch that video if you want to see this in detail and now we are going to call this particular service into this index.html so what i am going to do here for binding drop down list we required ng options ng model first so we are getting states here you can see I am getting all the things into states so my all the informations or list of states are coming into this states model and after that what I am going to do with the use of for I am going to call this state name in state id you can also see these things in our bat rank so this is my bat rank you can see and here I am going to click here AngularJS and you can see this is my states so you can see here all the five states you can see here so that's why I am writing here state ID and state name where I am going to write here you can see this is my state ID and state name 
and states is what states is my main collection you can see here main collection that's why I'm written here and uh, if I am talking about this particular thing ng model so what happened once user has selected any state from the drop down list so ng model will store the ID of my state now what is our next step in the next step once user has selected any state from the drop down list what is my next duty is I have to populate this particular city drop down so for this I have used here ng change so in the ng change you can see here we have one method is state chain so now we will check this particular state chain but before let's take a look of our next method in web api so in the web api you can see here we have a get cities this is a next method and in this method what i have done here we have called here one parameter as state id and in the state id we are using a where clause and in with we are using here city master so in the city master you can see we have all the state id so basis of state id which we are selecting by ng model we are passing this state id into this table and we are getting the list of cities which state we are selecting so basis of that in the cities you get the collection of basis of state id so now we are going to call this get cities method into our angular so you can see here i have used here state chain so this is my new method and in this new method first I am going to check if state id is not null so then only we want to check it we will send a, a request to web api so this is my url and I am passing this parameter as a state id you can see here our state id parameter is same and after that what I am going to do I am going to get the response and I am storing this response into my cities so you can see here I have used another drop down list again I am using ng options and ng model so in the ng options you can see here I am using cities collection and you can see here we have a cities here so you can see in the batrang also we have a city this is our main collection that's why all these things are coming and so that's why I'm using our cities and you can also see here in the batrang we are using city ID and city name so that's why I'm using here after for city ID and city name and after the binding all these things into my ng options I'm using here ng model as city ID so what I have done let's summarize all the code is first I have created student controller and in the student controller I have created two methods get states and get cities what is the use of get states for binding my first drop down list get cities is basis of selected state id I am going to populate my cities city drop down list so here my code of angular so what I have done here is I have a one app as my module and here I have a one controller in first method I am going to call inject dollar scope and dollar http and after that what i have done i have i am going to call this particular url for calling my web api and after that i am getting a response in my states and after that i am going to call one state change once user is selecting any drop down list any state id so basis of that again i am firing this particular url for my web api and after that i am getting a response in the cities model and same as I am going to call here this ng options and ng model and here I am going to call here ng change for a state change method and once user has any change in the drop down list of a state so basis of that I am getting the collection of cities so let's take again run this so I suppose you can see the city is going to be changed and if user has don't want to select it so nothing is coming why because here I am I applied here one if statement if state id is not null then only your request is going to this particular URL otherwise you are going to null the cities model